Hi everybody. So I began with a drawing working from live lilies in my studio. Then I sketched a detailed drawing which helps to determine values using a grayscale. By assigning numerical values to areas of lightness and darkness when using a reference photo or during sketching, you will instantly understand if you need to go darker or stay lighter with your color. I began by painting a single petal using a wet into wet technique to establish my midtones. then I allowed that layer to fully dry. Next, I mixed permanent rose with alizarin crimson in a milky consistency and began building up my darker values using several light repetitive strokes with the tip of my brush. I immediately established my darkest values, which acts as a guide for my lightest and midtone values. These lilies have deep crevices, so additional layers of light tones will be added to help create a nice turning edge. At this point, the petal looks very stark in contrast. However, as we continue to build up layers, the petal begins to take shape. So I have sped up the process to show you the next light wash using the same pigments, but diluted and thin to build my midtones using the tip of my brush and light pressure to create a bit of texture to my petal. I continue using light pressure with the tip of my brush to build all of the lines and the textures I see, making sure to pay special attention to the lengths of the lines, the variations of the lines, in order to keep a realistic look to the petal. These observations when painting are what gives strength to the believability when working in a realistic genre. If you've enjoyed this tip video and would like to see more of my full-length step-by-step tutorials, please visit my website where you can sign up to be notified when my watercolor classes will be available. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing.